mistakes you're making, why you're not losing weight, or why you might not lose as much weight as you think. And we know these because we fell into a lot of these traps and a lot of these thinking traps too. So all of the mistakes you're making have to do with healthy eating. Losing weight, it's not just a physical thing. It's here and it's here. Fight through it, you can do it. Don't give up. I, because Kyle and I have lost so much weight, we get lots of people coming up to us quite frequently saying, Kyle, Nicole, guess what? We got inspired by you and we're eating so healthy now. And they show us, you know, um, I had one person come up to me and show me a tub of yogurt, hold the whole tub up, and ha uh, a container of fruit. And they said, look, I'm eating yogurt and berries for a snack now. They proceed to dump half of the container of fruit, raspberries it was, into the yogurt and eat half the tub of yogurt. The yogurt was fat free, but it was flavored. A lot of people think when they start eating healthy that if they eat yogurt and fruit, they're going to lose weight. That's one of the things that people automatically are like, I'm gonna eat healthier. Fruit and yogurt, and that's, that's gonna help me lose weight. And that's great and, that you're making a healthier option choice, but it yes. really, really matters what kind and how much. Yes, so yogurt and fruit, healthy? Yes. Yogurt and fruit, will they help you lose weight? Yes, if. All of those are yes, if you portion. Portioning is very important. As you guys know, or may not if you're new, we do not track calories or macros or do any tracking of any sort other than measuring and weighing our food. You need to portion. You will not lose weight or get the results you want if you do not portion it out. If you dump a whole bowl of yogurt and fruit and eat the whole thing and you don't know how much you're eating, I can tell you right now, eating half that tub of yogurt and half that container of fruit, that person who thought they were eating healthier was eating two to three servings of yogurt. That's two to three days worth of yogurt for me. Two to three servings and at least two to three servings of fruit as well. Fruit is good for you, does contain fiber, also contains sugar. Most people say, but it's natural sugar. Yes, but if you're a hard, if, if you're an easy gainer like Kyle and I, which means you put on weight very easily or hold on to weight, you, gotta watch you have to watch no, any sugar, natural or non-natural sugar. So if that person would have measured out a half a cup of yogurt and a half a cup of berries, that is a serving, that is a healthy portion that will contribute to you losing weight and getting results, but also the type of yogurt you're getting. Yes, yogurt is healthy, but the best kind of yogurt to get and the kind of yogurt we've had from the start, friends, is plain, fat-free Greek yogurt. If you have flavor, you can get fat-free, but the Greek yogurt gives you more protein. The fat-free is cool. But if you're getting flavored, you're getting added sugar, added carbs. If you guys know and watched any of our meal prep videos, our full day of eating, we love flavoring our own yogurt because then we know what the heck's going in it. Exactly. We don't, we don't want the company to put in extra sugars and flavors. We can do that without the sugar. Exactly. Using extracts like vanilla or coconut extract, using no calorie sweetener like stevia, and, or Truvia or whatever you use and or using Walden Farms or any type of zero calorie sweeteners or syrups. Walden Farms has a whole line of sugar-free syrups that doesn't have anything in it except sodium. No sugar, no carbs, no calories. So you can sweeten your yogurt with that. And a trick Nicole does is she'll have her berries soak in the yogurt overnight and it'll flavor it'll give a natural fruit flavor yeah. to the yogurt i take a half a cup of frozen berries and i put it in my yogurt at night and then in the morning the fruit has defrosted and its juices have run into the yogurt and it flavors the yogurt for me overnight yogurt yeah 
Also, you can put cocoa powder and sweetener in your yogurt and let it sit overnight and in the morning it's a little bit thicker and it kind of tastes like a chocolate dessert, like a chocolatey yogurt dessert. Like a mousse. Yeah. Not so, the ones in the forest, but like the, <laughs> the dessert mousse. Yeah, like a dessert mousse. But a better for you, going to help you get results mousse. So yogurt is one of the biggest mistakes, yogurt and fruit. And let's move on to the fruit. We've already talked about it containing sugar. Fruit also contains carbs. Now, you, you do need carbs, but I see, and this is another, this is a different person that I've seen who said to me, Nicole, look, I got inspired by you, I'm eating healthy. And I watched them eat an entire large banana plus at least one and a half cups of raspberries. And we want to steer you guys away from the mistakes that we've made and that we see so many people make. This is why we're telling you this. It's mm -hmm. not to like put you down. No, but it's we to see tell you that we all got trapped into this yogurt's healthy, fruit's healthy, let's go bananas on eating bananas. And yes, it is healthy. Everybody's right. But most people go, oh, I'm hungry, I wanna lose weight, I wanna eat better, I'll just grab fruit. Grabbing fruit is cool, but you still have to portion it. And you can't go bananas on the fruit. You can, you know, a decent portion of fruit per day would be about two servings. So a small piece of fruit is one serving, or half a cup of fruit is a serving. And so two of those a day. You guys gotta understand, our, our personal experience is coming from two people that were very, very overweight, very obese, Who and also all of this. very carb sensitive people. Yeah. People like, like Nicole said are easy gainers. We hold on to weight. We have to fight like crazy to get weight off. So although fruit is categorized and well known as being healthy, yes it is, but for people like us with our metabolism and our DNA, you gotta watch the sizes. Me? If I eat bananas during the week, I will gain weight. Uh, there's something about bananas that my body does not like. If I have it on a cheat day, it's cool. If I eat bananas steadily throughout the week, my body gains weight. And that's because when you look at the nutrients, in, like when you look at the macros, a large banana. A large banana is about 120 calories. It's about 31 carbs and it's about almost 17 grams of sugar. It's like 16.6 .6 grams of sugar or something like that. Um, and this, I'm gonna tell you something funny right now. I have a box of Lucky Charms here. So I just told you that a banana, a large banana that most people grab when they want a snack that they think is healthy contains 16.6 .6 grams of sugar, one cup, sorry, three quarters of a cup of this cereal. So this much contains 10 grams of sugar. So almost seven grams less to eat almost a cup of cereal. It also contains 22 grams of carbs. So that is bad at math, like what, nine carbs less? Um, so you can eat cereal over a banana. And let's <gasps> let's reiterate this. We're not saying this is bad no. and this is good. We're just pointing out some mi major misconceptions that people may yes. be or traps that they may be falling into so that you guys can avoid these and have some common sense when you're eating so-called healthy things. Don't go bananas on them. Exactly. Um, they're gonna get tired of our banana joke at some point. Uh, so anyway, no, no. we're not saying bad, good, good, bad. We're saying both are good. Time and a place. Time and, and a place. So yes, bananas are good. And I see a lot of people reaching for bananas, but some people eat up to two bananas a day not realizing that's a lot of sugar. And for somebody that holds on to body weight or gains weight easily like Kyle and I. It's a lot of carbohydrates. It's too. also a lot of carbs. It is, that's 60 grams of carbs if you eat two large bananas. If you eat this in one day, that's a lot of carbs. And you're not going to get the results you want. So you need to measure. A small banana is cool. You know, portion it out. A small piece of fruit, like I said, and a half or half a cup of um, cut fruit. And again, we're talking to people with 
that need to lose major amounts of weight. Yes and that are reaching for things thinking that they're eating healthy, which they are, but you still have to measure. Just because you're eating healthy doesn't mean you're magically going to lose weight. You still have to portion. And Kyle and I had to realize this through trial and error. We couldn't just eat fruit and vegetables and you know lean proteins. You still have to measure everything. Everything counts. Even when you're not tracking, you still have to do a portion of some sort. So since we are on cereal here, I also want to tell you, we always get questions. We'll often, you know, pick up, Kyle and I love Harvest Crunch, and we'll often pick it up for cheat day. And we always get comments from people at the grocery store, people we know, people who comment online. Why do you guys save that for cheat day? Yeah, this cereal is so healthy. I Why thought, would you eat this on a cheat I day? I thought you guys eat junk food on cheat day. And it does say source of fiber, but the problem with something like Harvest Crunch is, yes, it's marketed to be healthy, and does it contain things like whole grains and nuts, which are healthy fats? Yes, it does contain healthy things. Yes, it can be healthy for you, but watch this. Two thirds of a cup. So I told you, I showed you earlier, three quarters of a cup, this is a different measuring cup, but I showed you earlier what three quarters of a cup is. That's how much Lucky Charms you can have. You can have this much Harvest Crunch, so a little less, for 200 calories. For, th for three quarters of a cup of Lucky Charms, it's 110 calories. Then you're looking at seven grams of fat for that Harvest Crunch versus the one gram of fat in the Lucky Charms. The carbs, you're looking at 31 grams of carbs for the two thirds cup of Harvest Crunch or 22 grams of carbs for the Lucky Charms. And we're, we're, what we're also saying too, like don't buy into marketing hype right. because this is looked at in a positive light in the media and this is looked at as a healthy cereal. Use your own brain because look, read your labels and look up stuff online if it doesn't have a label, label like the reading. fruits and stuff. And um, if you're a macro person, great, cool. If that works for you, great. But even right. we've seen some of the macro people have a tough time fitting it all in because they're trying to eat so-called healthy cereals when they could have more of this if they want it. If they're just a calorie person, you could have more of this. Yes. And um, before we say, uh, the sugars is 13 grams in the Harvest Crunch versus the 10 in the Lucky Charms. Now, the Harvest Crunch has two more grams of protein and one more fiber. But people, what we're trying to say is that don't eat the Lucky Charms over the Harvest Crunch. We're not saying that. What we're saying is you really need to read your labels. Do your homework. Do your homework. You really need to read your labels and you really need to measure. Because I know there are people that have told me I eat a bowl of cereal for breakfast. I eat the whole grain kind. That's my breakfast with a little bit of you know fat-free milk. If they're eating a bowl of this, even a small bowl is at least two, probably at least two servings of this. You're taking in like almost like 400 calories in a small bowl. When I was growing up, this is a long time ago, as a kid, there was an old saying called check your brain at the door. One area in life that you do not want to stop thinking diet. and check your brain at the door is diet. Mm -hmm. Use your common sense read into things, check up on things. I don't care that everybody tells you that something's healthy and something's junk. Read your labels. The labels tell you what's in it. And same with like the whole craze about healthy fats. Use your brain. Yes, you need healthy fats. Yes. People are going absolutely insane with the amount of fats they're getting from avocados. Oh, it's healthy. They're, they're loading eating, 30, 40, 50, 60 grams of healthy fat is gonna make you fat. You still need to, to measure. So this becomes a once a week thing. You know, keep in- This is too terms, also a once too. a week thing for us. Yeah, so I mean, just know, you're grabbing things that are marketed, source of fiber, whole grains. Even the title. Made with natural flavors. Harvest. It, it's making you think of a farm so it's natural, right? Or yes. something like that. And all of that's true. It doesn't mean that it's not gonna ruin your diet. 
So you just need to be aware of these things. Grabbing for fruit, grabbing for the hardest crunch off the shelf, or granola bars, or fat-free flavored yogurt. You still have to read the labels. Read the labels and portion. And that is the, the, the two things that most people who go on a weight loss journey do not do. Those are the two biggest mistakes. You will not get the results you want doing that. I have seen many people fail, and, not, and this that is a fact. I have watched dozens, literally dozens of people have come up to me and told me they're eating healthy and I've watched them grabbing all of these things, not portioning anything out. People telling me, oh, I just put a scoop of peanut butter in my protein shake in the morning and that's my breakfast. A scoop? What's a scoop? You could be taking like a golf ball size amount. A scoop to a, me was an ice cream scoop a, back a, in the a day. <laughs> a tablespoon of peanut butter is, is a serving of healthy fat. So you really need to watch. And you know, people go for the salad dressings. I watch people dump tons of salad dressing. I, I watch somebody dump literally a quarter of the bottle into their salad, saying they were eating healthy and wanting to lose weight. You, You're sabotaging your healthy choice. Then. That is a tablespoon. A tablespoon is a serving of dressing. So that is a lot of servings. <laughs> um, even if it's low fat, it adds up. 10 calories, 20 calories, that adds up. So portion control. You can eat all these things. And we ate all this stuff throughout our journey. But we chose... Um, you know to eat this once in a while and we actually portioned it out and most of the time we chose you know oatmeal and made our own granola so that it wouldn't contain all of the fat from like a boxed kind another thing one of, um, one of the last things we wanted to talk to you guys about was speaking of salad dressings salad most people will say, oh, I'm eating salad now because I'm trying to lose weight. I'm trying to eat healthy. Salads, are they healthy? Absolutely. Are they healthy when you load them with dressing, cheese, nuts, nuts fruit, protein? Not if it's not lean protein. One cup, one cup, that's one serving of, of lettuce. We usually do two cups for our meals uh, of salads. So we do two cups of lettuce, and then we do about a half, half a cup, which is here, of chopped up veggies, raw veggies. Most people, they're having salad like in bowls like this big. And when you and do that, you need to, you need to add more dressing. You need, you need to, to add, add more, more dressing, more cheese, more and... toppings, more cheese, more meat. You can eat lean protein, but if you're having double, triple, for myself also, if I eat too much protein during the week, I gain weight as well. So if you like double and triple your protein in your salad without weighing it out, you, you might not be losing weight eating salad. You could be eating all the salad in the world and not losing weight because you're loading it with stuff. You still have to measure your lettuce. You still have to measure your dressing, your lean proteins, your veggies that you're putting in. Everything has to be measured. You can put cheese in. Put in a tablespoon of light shredded cheese. You can still put nuts. Put in a tablespoon of chopped nuts. And when we, when we lost our weight and we decided to start the YouTube channel, we've seen a lack of just common sense voices out here in this community. So that's yes. basically what we want to bring to you and tell you. Use your common sense, listen to your body and do what works for you. Exactly. Have common sense, portion control, eat what you like, common sense, do what works for your body. Yeah, you don't have to take any of this away. It's just reading labels and really utilizing scales and measuring cups and spoons. And you know what? We're probably gonna get someone that comments down here, I eat salad every day and I lose weight. And you know what? That might be true. But with bodies like Kyle's and mine, we need to measure everything. We have to measure our lettuce. We have to measure our dressing, our protein, or we will gain weight. So the last thing I wanted to talk to you about was healthy fat. We have touched on it a little bit. I have walnuts here. Um, you know, natural peanut butter, nuts, avocado, 
uh, olive oil, those kinds of things, coconut oil, those are all healthy fats. And yes, you need healthy fats in your diet. They are good for you. But because healthy fats are being pushed right now, people are We see eating people go overboard with overboard with the fat. Yeah. Yes, you need healthy fat, but if you're eating, you know, two avocados a day or you're you're like, "Oh, I'm just going to grab a handful of nuts." Most most serving size are, you know, a quarter cup. A of quarter of a cup. So, your handful that's a quarter of a cup there. So you've got double Look, there. still what I have in triple. my hand. That brings us almost up to half a cup. So your handful could be two or three servings worth. Um, we used to eat a quarter cup of nuts when we started. Now we need less. Now we do about a tablespoon. So you're looking at that as compared to that. That's why measuring, even though scales and measuring cups and spoons aren't a hundred percent accurate this is more accurate than this yeah. so you just you really want to watch your serving sizes and you don't have to we ate everything we liked during our journey we just chose the time and the place to eat it and we measured it out don't overcomplicate things no. guys eat what you like but if but you're going to take it. some advice from us portion it the the two biggest mistakes people do are grab foods labeled as healthy without reading labels and just grabbing them and eating them without measuring Checking them. their brain at the door. I'm yes. gonna bring that saying back. Checking their brains at the door is what most people do to make the mistake. The two things we wanted to tell you to, or to share with you that we did that work for us that will help you get results better are to read the labels and measure. That will help you because you the label, all that. the label, actually tells you exactly what a serving size is. It'll tell you it says. Um, the label will tell you exactly what a serving size in is on every food. It says for two thirds of a cup. So there you have your serving size. You get your measuring cups. You've had a serving of exactly. something. Exactly. The thing is, you can still have this. If you're like, uh, I want Harvest Crunch, but I don't want to eat 200 calories, put two tablespoons of Harvest Crunch in your fat-free plain in yogurt. In your yogurt. There you go. And you've got your Harvest Crunch fix without going overboard and now on the you calories. Call your, you can call yourself Chef Parfait. There you go. <laughs> oh, gosh. They're going to be like, uh, this, these jokes. Dad jokes. If they know us, they know dad jokes. Okay, so the friends... Hopefully this was um, informative for you and hopefully you um, take some cool inspiration from this to check out your labels and to measure your food. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't fall into the healthy traps. Yeah, if you don't like and subscribe, you're gonna get oh my cereal God. box head of doom. <laughs> <laughs> my God. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. Our complete weight loss guide is finally here. We put our heart and souls into it, friends. It has 40 family-friendly recipes. Not only is there a two-week full meal plan for you, there is a blueprint on how to make your own. The toning moves to prevent loose skin, to tighten up the loose skin, it's all in there. Everything you will ever need to know, you ever wanted to know about how we lost weight, it is there.